I run Solarpack, and what we do is we design and manufacture a range of por mostly portable solar power uh, equipment um, here in Kenya, um, and I've been running the company for four years now. What we're focused on is portable solar lighting for eco camps and for lodges. What we now do is we've found it very hard to mass produce cheap um, solar power equipment. Uh, in Kenya, there's a large market for power and lighting equipment, and most of it is met with um, equipment imported from all the way around the world, predominantly from uh, Southeast Asia. So what we wanted to do was to design something in Africa and then predominantly have it used just in Africa. One of the biggest obstacles is in Kenya is the new customs legislation that has very demanding standards which uh, have all products have to be tested by the um, Kenyan government or by its partners overseas, even if they have um, world certification already. What we do is we're a systems integrator. So that means I'll buy an LED from one company, a solar panel from another, battery from another, different electronic components, and then I'll make a final product in Kenya. So we've been challenged because we haven't been able to find enough companies who make good quality, low cost. Um, and it's very hard to make these, um, to actually have a meeting with a Chinese company, unless you go to China. And even if you go to China, so I didn't have the money to go to China. I didn't want to invest that. Even if I were to, I've heard there are so many barriers about meeting new companies, um, traveling around, language barriers. So by actually us all being under one roof in the same room, um, being able to meet people, you know, the, the, the power and value of actually meeting people face to face, having the old handshake, the old ways of doing business. This is actually literally that, that meeting place. One of the best ways to assist the development of this off-grid um, market, if you like, or basically just to get power to the people, is to build on partnerships so that we can have, say, I think we call it civil society groups, like NGOs, community-based groups, youth groups, them working to achieve their goal in partnership with the business so that the business could team up with, say, a youth group that wants to get youth access to education and the private business wants to sell solar lighting. So then together the World Bank can introduce those groups, can facilitate us to meet, and then we can both basically achieve something which we couldn't achieve on our own. The youth group gets to have youth getting light so they can study at home. Tick, they've achieved their objective. We get to sell solar equipment. Tick, our objective's achieved. World Bank gets to alleviate poverty, gets to you know, assist to generate incomes. Everyone. Everyone's a winner.